Yeah, so uh, T.I. Undertaker, Outcast, Get Up. Pretty good soundtrack. Um, Ten Nation Confederacy, Bricks 10. I was looking at it, you know, it didn't didn't add up right. Now it adds up right, or so it seems. And, you know, and then you got the Ten Nation Confederacy doing the naval blockade or whatever, you know. Uh, got uh, lots of quinky dinks going on. And so, pleased to hear, you know, Israel, fuck, dude, like, as soon as I fucking, anyway, is splitting their forces, saying they're getting ready for a protracted war, strike Beirut, kill the dude, and Mossad plant some fucking back backpack bombs in Iran. It's like, dude, they're begging for war. Now why? Well, last year I was hanging out, well, I was I was paying attention to uh, a bunch of different rabbis. I mean, I was all over the place. And a bunch of them were saying that the next year, so this is last fall, uh they're saying la- uh, they were saying last fall that coming year, you know, fall to fall, because they're running fall to fall, because, <laughs> you know, Nissan is not the beginning of months, because they don't give a fuck about what the Bible says, you know, just loopholing that shit like a bunch of fucking crooked motherfucking pricks, so, the, uh, fall to fall, last fall, they're announcing Jubilee, man, this is the Jubilee, now they're off with their calculations and shit, you know, like, but, you know, they believe, and so, to a certain extent, it's true, to a certain extent, um, even though it's not true. But that's the thing about reality, is it's, like, subjective. I mean, yeah, it's objective, but it's also subjective. It's, you know, the whole, whole you are gods, the whole fucking agreement, power of agreement, you know, two people agree, you know, you get... You get 20,000 or whatever the number is, uh, you know, blood drinking, adrenochrome, ad- adrenochrome pumping, motherfucking crook noses, you know. And it's not just the Jews, you know, but they got the books. You know what I'm saying? They get the, <laughs> they got the books. This is, this is Kabbalah. This is fucking magic, fucking blood sacrifice and shit. That's what they're doing. So, anyway... Uh, with all that in mind, contacted William Schnobelin. Yeah, Dr. William Schnobelin. Really, really interesting character. If you've never heard of him, uh, I recommend you go check him out. But I don't know about the... <laughs> I really haven't been paying attention to him the last couple of few years. Because, uh, you know, like, I see it as super- superfluous, more or less. Uh at least at this point in time there will come a time where a bunch of stuff that he says and teaches is going to become very very relevant uh but you know at least for me i've had my fucking hands full so yeah i've had more immediate concerns um than a lot of the stuff that he talks about but regardless i contacted him i said hey man been paying attention to you for years you ought to know about this i cannot believe that nobody fucking knows about this nobody's talking about the 1335 nobody it's fucking crazy it's like jesus christ am i the only one that i'm gonna that that, that is gonna get that blessing you know what i'm saying i have tried to explain this to so many people (sighs) and i think that i might be the only one well you know Springtime, Nissan one or a Beeb one. I mean, a Beeb one, because uh, yeah, the other ones, uh, Babylonian name, those fuckers. Yeah, I mean, they just fucked the entire fucking calendar when they got deported to Babylon, and it was prophesied. You know, you're gonna forget. You're gonna go serve other gods. You're gonna and and they literally, you know, it, it it's not possible unless you can trick them that they're correct. You know what I'm saying? So. They've been tricked. They've been tricked for fucking 2,500, more than 2,500 years. Um, 
and uh you know at, at least that's about about ready to uh you know, 25 20 would be 12 60 times 2 so that would be interesting if uh 25 20 from what 603 or 605 or 608 i forget what it is 605 i have to look it up again um so it would be interesting if it was exactly 25 20 i'll probably run that calculation here in a minute but uh bottom line is you know i notified him and i told him mishandle it you know it was like blood on your hands you know what i'm saying like that's how it fucking works you mishandle anything and everything you mishandle and it has consequences and <laughs> oh <laughs> uh fucking consequences all right so beware uh that's why you need to be doing everything perfectly all the time you know one little slip up butterfly effect one little slip up and you cause somebody to commit suicide you cause somebody to <laughs> spin out and grab a gun and go shoot a fucking school up or something you know uh usually it's a train of abuses you know but there's always a first one there's always a first and uh it's important not to be responsible for that shit. So you have to be perfect. Uh, anyway, I actually have some hope for Schnobelin because uh, he's got an open mind. Or at least last I checked on him you know, years ago, he had an open mind. I think he still does. And uh, yeah, he's uh, not sectarian, so that's good. And uh you know, he's got experience, he's got a lot of experience, man, I mean, you'd be a fool not to tap on that experience, now, there is the open, you know, question or whatever, because, eh, he could be a plant, you know what I'm saying, like, I wouldn't put it by him, uh, I would choose someone like that to do a plant, and, uh, fuck everybody sideways, you know, um, everybody who pays attention to that shit, so, there is that, it could be, that he's plant, and then it's totally, you know, bullshit, uh, I doubt it, but it could be, uh, well, no, proof is in the pudding, well, told him, uh, like to hang out and do some stuff, and we'll see when and if he gets back to me, uh, gave him a link to the paperwork playlist, so, you know, he's been notified, so this is how it goes, he's been notified, uh, because of the spirit of holiness, you know, it's like anybody claiming, anybody claiming they don't really have an excuse not to be aware of what they need to be aware of, you know, because they should be connected to the spirit all the time. So with that in mind, you know, yeah, I mean, past, uh, past sundown over here, I don't even know where he's at, but, uh, probably it was past sundown so after today like this will be day one right and then tomorrow will be one day well if in three days you know so tomorrow next and next if he doesn't get back to me within three days uh he's gonna get he's gonna get a wake-up call um however bad that wake up call or good even you know it could be a good wake up call but generally generally yeah, it depends it depends my guys know him better than i do uh because they can watch him and shit you know uh so then if uh if he responds favorably yeah man i mean it's the only one i one of the only one i got so i'm gonna bless the shit out of him you know what i'm saying uh if he wants to tag along Otherwise, you know, if you're not with me, you're against me. Three days, I'll give him a, an update deal probably. Unless, I mean, that's a legitimate thing to do is give him an update and say, hey, man, you know, another three days or a week or whatever, and then I have to shed blood. Uh, yeah, shed blood, break bones, and, uh, and then extinguish lives. Um, you know, the thing is, is like, uh, you take take death too seriously, you know, it's it's not a permanent condition. I believe it's a permanent condition, it's just delusion, you know, like, uh, 
Bible is the oldest, most accurate, uh, continuous fucking book of the law. You know what I'm saying? The, the very fact that Jews still exist at this point and that they're still doing yeshiva and stuff, you know, I mean, God's hand is in it. He doesn't want to lose them. But, you know, omelet, eggs, etc. It happens. I just broke six eggs, so. <sighs> so we've got to uh, Schnobelin. I really hope that he tags along. If he doesn't, you're going to notice. He's going to fucking spin off into Never Never Land. And he's never going to be found again. Uh, well, I mean, never is a pretty long timeline, but he's not going to be found again. He wants to spin off. He's been exposed to so much evil, he should be able to identify good from evil. If he misjudges my message is evil, then fuck that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Hard. Really hard. Because he's been involved in a bunch of shit, so he's got a lot hanging over his head. So it's like, you know, he ought to be pretty motherfucking obedient. Knowing the alternatives, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't want to have your organs harvested while you're still conscious and without an anesthesia and stuff. Like, it's not a good day. So, I really do hope that he uh, gets back to me. Uh, as for everything else, you know, it's like, fuck off. Motherfucker. Motherfucker did it. He hired somebody to contact me, and so, fuck that motherfucker. You know, demon bag. He's going to be made into a motherfucking, uh, an astonishment and a byword. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be a lesson to the rest of the world. You want to claim Torah? And you want to put that shit on your fucking license plate, dude? You want to put a bumper sticker on? You want to put fucking tetragrammaton on your motherfucking hard hat? You fucking pissant motherfucking no fucking goddamn conception of fucking holiness? You fucking queer babe motherfuck. So, I'm done with him. That motherfucker, he is going to get fucking flayed. He's going to get fucking tortured. He's going to die multiple motherfucking times. And I'm talking hundreds and thousands of fucking times. That motherfucker's gonna have his own amusement park ride where he just gets ran in the ass with power poles fucking constantly. You know, and we'll take some breaks and throw some really fucking sadistic shit at him because he is a sadist for sure. Motherfucking convicted sex offender, fucking sadist, motherfucking bondage, motherfucking goddamn fucking twisted fuck. Okay? That motherfucker. He is going to be an example for all you twisted fucks. I'm not going to show mercy to him. He doesn't want mercy. I'm not going to show mercy. It doesn't matter how loud he cries or for how long. It don't fucking matter. Okay? It would be nice. Well, you know, I don't want to digress into that. You know, it's just going to be really evil, nasty shit. Uh, because that's what he wants. You know, so moral of that story is you see something evil... Don't fucking be complicit with that shit, man. You don't know what the fucking consequences are, man. You need to read Proverbs 1. Just read Proverbs 1. Like, five fucking times. Seven times if you're feeling like uh, overachieving and shit. Just get Proverbs 1 down. Stay the fuck away from evil fucking people. Curse them. Distance from them. Curse them. Motherfucking curse them. Okay? You don't wish well. For people who fuck up, okay? They will not learn if you wish them well and if God respects your prayer. Thankfully, God doesn't respect hardly fucking any of you fucking assholes. You're fucking deluded. Your standards of proof are so fucking low. There's no proof. You haven't proved a goddamn thing. You still think motherfucker came to fucking change the fucking law? Yeah. Listen to Moses, my servant. Oh, never mind. Actually, you know, I was just drunk that day. It's like, you are a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is implied. You are a fuck who believes that God changes his mind. So, fucking, got no problem. Got no problem. You reject reality. Reality rejects you. And, uh, yep, shitstorm is beginning. Shitstorm is going to get worse and worse 
and uh, I'm going to rage, and uh, we're going to have a party. Like, that's what I'm going for. Just want to party with some buddies, hot tub, hot chicks, blunts, and, you know, it's good enough for me. So, uh, yeah, get in the book, Proverbs 1. Get in the book. Fucking pray, fucking pray. You fucking get on your knees, and I mean both of your knees, you get down, you humble yourself, you put your face on the fucking floor, okay, it's better, it's better that you prepare your space so that you're not uh, making yourself dirty as you prepare to speak to God, uh, you need to humble yourself, you need to know that you are a piece of shit, and that uh, God doesn't want to listen to you, except if you want to listen to him, so you better fucking listen. Uh, with that said, you know, there's only one time. The time can't be later because it has to be now because that's the fucking proof. I've got witnesses. God doesn't repent. He's not a man. He doesn't repent. I, I will repent. I have repented in the past. Oh, the prophecy says I'm going to offer a, a guilt sacrifice or some shit. In Zechariah, uh, and so it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Uh, but fact remains, time is now. Uh, if you want to argue with it, great, dude. Argue with it. Prove me wrong. Fucking do it. I dare you. Okay. I'm sick of reiterating the same basic bullshit. I want to get some buddies together so we can actually study some technical, te technical stuff. So we can try to. Uh, fulfill some prophecies without actually spilling blood you know like there are alternative alternatives we can we can make it happen if we've got the time to pre-plan okay we'll run out of time though and uh when time's short it's like okay, well, we gotta get the work done anyway you know and so sometimes dude you just gotta get bloody